This video will demonstrate how to install Hope Sun Series 36-50 kW string inverter. Note, only qualified professionals can install, operate, and maintain relevant electrical equipment, and please take corresponding protective measures and wear safety protective equipment correctly. Step 1 Product Installation Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the packing box are in accordance with the packing list. Special attention shall be paid to the installation environment. A place good for air ventilation and heat dissipation is needed, and it is recommended to install a sun shield. The installation surface shall be firm enough and meet the load-bearing requirements. The inverter shall be installed vertically or tilted backward less than 15 degree. To facilitate maintenance and heat dissipation, more than 500 mm space shall be reserved on the left and right of the inverter and at least 200 mm space above and 300 mm space below the inverter. If multiple inverters are installed on the same plane, side-by-side -side installation is recommended, and more than 500 mm space should be reserved between two inverters. If multiple inverters are required to install in two rows, triangle installation is recommended. More than 300 mm space should be reserved between the two rows and more than 100 mm space should be reserved on the left and right of the inverter. Install the mounting plate first. After determining the installation position of the mounting plate, knock the screws into the holes. Hang the mounting plate on the screws, fix it with the flat washers and nuts, and tighten it again with a torque socket wrench. Then the installation of the mounting plate is finished. Fix the inverter to the mounting plate. Align the gap at the back of the inverter with the top of the mounting plate and clip it in. Then insert the fixing screws in the accessories into the mounting holes on both sides to fasten. And the installation of the inverter is finished. Step 2 Cable Connection First, connect the ground cable. Before grounding, Users need to make the OT terminal by themselves. First strip the front end of the cable core, put on the heat shrink tubing and the OT terminal and crimp the OT terminal. Then move the heat shrink tubing forward to cover the seam and use a dryer to heat the tubing to make it tight. Next, connect the ground cable to the grounding point of the inverter. Tighten the screws and then the ground connection is finished. Please adopt single point grounding when grounding multiple string inverters. Then, connect cables on the AC side. Pay attention to the above precautions before cable connection on the AC side. First make the OT terminal. Strip the front end of the cable core. Crimp the OT terminal and cover the seam with the heat shrink tubing or insulated rubber tape. Then install the waterproof lock and unscrew the lock cap of the waterproof lock head. Connect the AC cables to the A, B, C and N of the AC terminal strip in turn through the waterproof lock and lock cap. Reinstall the AC cable cover and tighten the lock cap. Then the AC cable connection is finished. Finally, connect cables on the DC side. Before connection, make the DC input cable first. Confirm the positive and negative poles of the input cable, then use a wire stripper to strip the cable. Crimp the cable and the corresponding cable core together, and finally insert the cable core into the male and female poles of the MC4 connector according to the correct polarity and tighten the back cover of the connector. After the DC input cable is completed, use a multimeter to determine the positive and negative poles and mark them. Then insert the positive and negative connectors into the corresponding DC input terminals of the inverter. When you hear a sound of click, the terminal is connected in place. 
which indicates the cable connection on the DC side is completed. Step 3 Communication Connection Align the interface of the data logger with the interface of the inverter, insert it tightly, and then tighten the nut of the data logger with the screw rod of the inverter. When the inverter starts up, if the indicator lights COM and SRV of the data logger are solid blue, and its indicator light run is blinking green, then the data logger is in normal operation. Note, there is a groove in the interface of inverter. To avoid wrong connection, please confirm before connecting. If optional data collector with antenna is used, open the dustproof cap of the Wi-Fi GPRS communication interface, insert the data collector into the interface and tighten it. Finally, adsorb the magnetic suction cup on the top of the inverter. After the inverter is powered on, if all the four indicator lights of the data collector display solid green, the data collector is connected normally. Step 4 Power on Debugging Please make sure all the cable connections are normal and stable before power on debugging. First turn on the DC switch, and then turn on the AC circuit breaker. When the system has no faults and meets the startup conditions, the inverter will start automatically. This is the end of the video. Please refer to the product manual for more information. For further support, please contact Hope Wind Official After Sales Team or authorized service providers.